What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Colin Jay and as you can tell it is currently nighttime but Jay and I are about to go out on the lake and do some catfishing. Yes! We're gonna be running limb lines tonight. We've already got them hung up and all we have to do is go bait them and uh, see if we can catch some catfish on them. So what we've got going on, we went to the store and picked up some bait and the bait we're going to be using tonight is some really cool green glowing night crawlers. Check them out. These worms are actually <laughs> green and so they're supposed to glow. Uh, I'm not sure if they're gonna glow in the dark or not but we have a black light and see if we can light them up with a black light and see what their glowing potential really is. But either way, they're night crawlers and they should get the job done. So we're gonna see if we can make them glow and then we're gonna go out on the lake and see if we can catch catfish on them. You ready guys? Let's do it. Let's go. Okay, so we got a black light out here rigged up. We got our worms. So I'm gonna turn this spotlight off. Jason, turn the black light on and let's see if these worms glow. Ready? Ready. Okay, in three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! They work! That's awesome. <laughs> now, I don't know, let's see if they like will hold a charge. I'm not sure if these are actually glow worms or if they have a glowing formula inside of them or if they just glow because they're, you know, injected with some green dye. So let's charge them up for about three more seconds. Okay, Jay, cut the light off and let's see if they glow. Dang. No! Dang it! What? Ugh. Oh. I got gypped. Maybe I didn't get gypped, but I thought that they were glow worms and that they were going to hold the charge. I think they'll still catch fish though. I definitely think they'll still catch <laughs> fish. Maybe the fish will see the green dye mixed in with them, but dang. Rats! Uh, my foolproof plan was not foolproof. Well, that's okay. Whatever. Let's go, let's go hang up on some lines and see if we can catch the fish on them. Okay, we made it to our first line. Let's bait up our first worm. Now let's see if we can catch our first catfish. These are pretty big worms. Probably gonna use like half the worm on each line. Just threading them on the hook. Looks pretty good. I'll dangle a little bit off, just maybe entice them a little bit more. That's basically the rig. We're just gonna throw it in the water and uh, hopefully the catfish will come to it sooner than later. We got a bunch of lines just scattered out on all these trees and we're gonna probably bait up a couple dozen of them. And hopefully before the night's in, we'll have a decent amount of catfish to cook tomorrow for dinner. This is our last limb line we got a bait. Just toss that in. And we're gonna head back to the house and chill there for maybe 30, 45 minutes or so. And then come back out here and see what we got on the lines. Hopefully, we'll get some big catfish. That's the goal. Probably about five or six of them would be great. So it's been about an hour since we baited the lines. It's pretty late right now. I think yeah. it's like almost midnight, but we're about to head out there and hopefully we have some catfish on the line. Yeah, make us all worth it. Yes. Let's see if they hit the glow <laughs> worms. Oh my gosh. Guys, we're hooked up with our first fish. What is it? What the it's heck, it's a bass. bass. What? It's a bass. Are you kidding? That dude swallowed that worm. That's a nice bass. Oh my Look gosh. At that. We got about a two pound bass on the night crawler. <laughs> Dude, smoked it. That's awesome. <laughs> I was not, this is the first bass I've ever caught on a drop line. Like, I've caught them on yo-yos, but I've never caught a bass on a limb line, which is kind of surprising, but wow, how about that? <laughs> Fish number one is a largemouth bass. Well, since we're not after bass tonight, we're gonna let this guy go. He seems to be in perfectly uh, good condition to be released back into the water. So let's get him back in the water and hopefully we'll catch some catfish after catching this bass. That's epic. We got a fish, guys. And it's shaking the branch pretty hard. <laughs> Is it a good one? I don't know. How's it feel? Oh, oh my that's a pretty gosh, good one. Yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, get out of the tree. Get out of the tree. That's a nice one. That's not a bad one at all. That's probably like an almost three pound channel cat. 
Heck yeah, that's a good one. Number good. one. Yeah, the first catfish tonight. We got that bass earlier. We were beginning to get worried that we weren't going to catch any catfish and we had expectations kind of high. And we set the bar at five fish and this is the <laughs> first catfish we've got. So yeah, that's a good one. He's, he means he's got to be at least three pounds. And if we don't catch any more, it's enough for us to cook for sure. So let's get him to the bottom of the boat. And we have a few more lines to check. So let's see if we get any more fish hooked up. We just landed one channel catfish in that one large nose bass out of all those limons. We said, I think we said maybe 20 um, total with worms on them. But that's okay, we got a good catfish and some of those still had some worm on them. So I'm gonna put this guy in our live box for now. And there's a chance that maybe tomorrow in the morning we'll have another one hooked up on one of the limb lines. And then maybe we can run them a little bit more tomorrow morning and catch a couple additional catfish so we'll have something to eat. But we're gonna call it a night. Right now, we'll catch up with you guys in the morning. All right, guys, we're back out here. It's day two of the catfish limb lining mission. Um, there was a few holdover worms on the hooks from last night, so we're gonna see if maybe a catfish decided to grab hold of one. It looks like we have one right here. Look at this. I think there's one on this one. Look at that, we got one on the first one. Woo! He doesn't look very big. All right, Jay, go for it. It's exciting. <laughs> Even though he doesn't seem very large. I bet it's a mud cat. Oh no! Oh, get him up in the boat! Get him in the boat! Woo! Woo! Heck yeah! That's what I'm talking about. We got another catfish. He's not that big, he's but not he's that a keeper. Big. Yeah, he'll work for sure. Awesome. Good job. Let's go ahead. Let's get this one baited up. Wait, there's something on here. <gasps> no! No! Oh my gosh! I'm, oh no! Look at that! Oh, we had one! Dang. Jay! Oh man, that would have been a good one! Dang! A turtle got it! Oh, that's the work of an alligator snapper turtle right there, probably. Dang! There's a little bit of meat left on it, Jay, if you want to take that home. That's, okay. <laughs> that's alright? Okay. Well, unfortunately for this catfish, uh, he didn't make it into our bellies, but made it into an alligator snapping turtle's belly. Could have been some other turtles, but I'm thinking alligator snapping turtle. All right. Rest in pieces. Okay, guys, we got another one. It looks like it could be a good one. It could definitely be a good one. I'm not sure, though. It could be a small one. It's always hard to tell, but he's kind of... How's it feel? You know? It's a pretty good one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Woo. That's what I'm chill, talking about. Chill. So I could tell how big he was, but it definitely seemed like a nice one. That's about the same size as the one we caught last night. Yeah. Guys, we got another one hooked up, it looks like. Might be a good one. He's got us pulled way up inside of this tree right here. I'm gonna show you. Look at that line moving. How's it feel, Jay? Oh, it's a good one. Is it? Yeah, it's a good one. Pretty good one. Okay. Swing him up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to be bigger than that. He's, he's a good one. He is a good one. He looks a little bigger in the water. <laughs> hey, I'll take it. We've got four now. Four Woo! perfect eating sized catfish. <gasps> He'll eat for sure. Good job, Jay. Let's get him in the boat. Let's bait that one back up since it caught a fish. And let's go check another line. I think we might have one bouncing over there. I'm not sure. It might just be the wind. We'll go check and see. Just made it back here for checking the lines, and I would call that run a success. We got three. Three nice channel cats to go with the one we <laughs> caught last night. So we got four total, which means we got two catfish apiece that we can eat, which is plenty for us. And we have all the lines rebated, so we're hopeful we can catch a couple more. Maybe we can invite some friends over and we can all have some catfish together. So we're going to get the one out of the live box we had last night, take these fish, put them on ice for a little bit, and then go back out there and check the lines if we get some more. All right, so I'm back out here for the final time, checking the limb lines. I'm out here by myself in my kayak this time because, as you can tell, the wind has picked up quite significantly, and it makes it hard to maneuver um, around in the lake when the wind's blowing in that canoe, um, especially trying to check limb lines against these trees. So I'm just gonna run around here, see if we got any additional catfish, and uh, hopefully got a couple big ones. Nothing there. Nothing on that one. Maybe we don't have any more. 
I definitely expected to catch like at least one more. Oh yeah, we got one. There's one, there's one, there's one. Okay, I thought I saw it branch bouncing. Okay, we're hooked up. Might have two. Definitely got one right here. He doesn't seem like he's that big though. Okay, come here fish. Let's see if we can do this. I don't feel that bad. Oh, that's a good one. Come here, yes. Oh, he came off in the boat. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, there we go. That's another perfect eating size channel catfish that brings a total to five now. Uh, there might be one on that line, I'm not sure. We got about five or six more behind us to check. But hey, at least we got one more fish to add to our haul. So I'm gonna put him behind me, just underneath my seat for the time being. And uh, we're gonna go check some more lines. That one doesn't have one. Well, it looks like that's all the catfish we're gonna catch today, but we got five good channel catfish and I'm excited to clean them and eat them later on tonight. I was hoping to catch a few more. I really thought we were gonna catch, you know, two or three more, but hey, that's how it goes sometimes. So we're gonna get back to the house. I'm just drifting back, letting the wind carry me back here. And I'm gonna add this catfish to the cooler and then we're gonna let them sit there for a little bit and then we're gonna clean them and we're gonna cook them. So it's gonna be good. Our catfish have been on ice for a few hours and we are ready to clean them. So let me get one out. They're all about the same size. They're all like two or three pound size catfish, which is perfect for eating. And today we're going to be cleaning them with an electric fillet knife. I'm sure you've seen this on our channel many times. If you're interested in detail on how I clean these fish with electric fillet knife, we have a video that we will link in the video description for you guys to check out. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean these fish up real quick because Jay and I are pretty hungry and we're ready to get to cooking them. So let's make this quick and easy and good. That's gotta be like the best part about living on the lake. You've got catch fish, clay fish, and dump them back in the lake. We've officially started making dinner and we started by making an appetizer, which is some um, donuts. It's actually dessert. It's actually <laughs> dessert and donuts. We uh, got some uh, biscuits, you know, crumb and smashed to a ball, threw in the deep fryer, and they are cooked. So let's get them onto the plate. Oh shoot, they're rolling everywhere. They look like hush puppies. Look like hush puppies, but they're donuts. And then we have sugar. And you just, you just do this to them. Yummy. Look at that, just roll them around all up in there. Super healthy, super good for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyways, we got some donuts to snack on. Uh, but anyways, let's get to the real part. We are going to be frying our fish today. I've got some Louisiana fish fry. Stuff I use all the time, just the blue bag. It's really good. And I've got my fillets, which have been soaking and sitting in the fridge for a little while. So I'm just gonna shake them off throw them in this bag. Got them all trimmed up earlier also, and I kind of I kind of made them into little nuggets. So this should be good, little fried catfish nuggets. Okay, we've got our fish in our gallon size freezer bag, our fish fry, so we're just gonna shake it all up now. Get them all nice and evenly coated. This stuff sticks to them really good. Fries up really good. We have our deep fryer already heated up. All right, looks good. Y'all mm. like that? You like that, Jay? Yeah. Okay. You like that donut? <laughs> 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 Jay's over here sneaking donuts. Whoops. They're yummy. Okay, here we go. Not to be sizzling. Ooh. The only thing about cutting the fish up in these little nuggets is that they cook a little bit more quickly and they cook evenly and they fry up really, really good. This one's a little bit more filet-like. All right, we got the fish cooking. And while we're waiting on them, we eat donuts. <laughs> <laughs> so yummy. Mm, hot. These are better than Krispy Kreme. Is it better than hush puppies? Oh yeah. Oh yeah? You know, Jay, forget the fish. We should just cook um, donuts. <laughs> yeah, it's eating donuts for dinner. Have like donuts, yeah. ice cream, chocolate milk, have it all. First batch is done. 
Yummy. Okay, there it is guys, there's my finished product. My plate looks awesome. I don't care what Jessica says about the rice. Let her know in the comment section that she's wrong about rice and french fries and fish not going together because I think that she's crazy about it. Hey, you ate all the donuts. I did eat all the donuts. You I'm not even hungry anymore. You ate all the donuts. I'm not even hungry. Well, here's Jessica's plate. <laughs> that's all she's got going on. She's got a couple pieces of fish and french fries. That's all right, I still love you. <laughs> But anyways, we are about to take our plates in the living room, go sit on the couch, watch some TV, and just chill for the rest of the afternoon. We had a big day, big busy day, going out and catching catfish. We sit all night trying to catch them too. But I'm glad we were able to catch them with those glowing green worms. Those things were awesome. I thought they were going to glow in the dark once they absorb some black light energy, but that just didn't happen. But, but they, they were, still caught fish. And they still did glow like awesome when you hit them with black yeah, light. that was really cool. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, be sure to let us know by hitting the like button for us. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you get all of our future outdoor fishing and cooking adventures. We're, we're calling Jay, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.